We're going to move on. Topic here regarding Maiden Voyage Festival that's happening on the 27th. Bank holiday Sunday this month. I'm oh, sorry, in August. Sorry, 27th of August, bank holiday. And I'm really interested in it because this is one of those one-day festival things that's become all the rage here in the UK. I'm not too sure if this is a because it's easier to get a license for these sort of things because it does feel like one of those kind of licensing hacks because it's a one-day event under a certain amount of time. You can maybe not have to get certain bits of insurance that would make it a little bit more less worthwhile so you can put these other events together that are a little bit more temporary a little bit more ad hoc a little bit more diy in style but with still the same kind of ethos of a festival but regardless i kind of like what they're doing and i really like the fact that it's a one-day festival the prices are really decent right for one-day festival it goes anywhere between 20 pounds to 80 pounds so the first release entry before 3 p.m which is a crazy time before to go to a festival it goes from 12 to 10 p.m which is no real time either but to leave your house before flipping 3 p.m to go to a festival is absolutely wild i've done it before and i went to primavera of course but i can't imagine going that early to a festival in the uk it is what it is but anywhere between 20 to 80 pound depending on when you want to go and the lineup is pretty decent you got Ace Mo, DJ Boring, Cass Dead, Cass is Dead, sorry, C Frim, DJ EZ, who for me would be the biggest pick to choose from a lineup like that going to a day festival in the UK, especially in London. He will tear that thing to absolute smithereens. Smithereens. You got Fellow T, you got Harren Sauna at Double XL, which includes everybody from that Harren Sauna crew, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. And they're obviously an amazing collective to come and play at this type of events. I think if you've seen them, there might be a video if I'm pretty sure there's a video of them playing. I'm gonna say, is it is it boiler room? Is it a boiler room event? Let me see if I can quickly check this out on my YouTube here on my phone. I think it might be a boiler room. They do a particular event over there and it's pretty decent. Um where is it? Let's see if I can see it. They've got okay. They've got one. They've got a, they've got one on the hall. They've got one on, on boiler room. They've got another boiler room. But they're together as a group. Let me see if I can find that double XL. It says here, right? Let's see if they've got one together. Double XL Heron Sauna. Maybe it's Deck Mantle then. Is it Deck Mantle? Okay, yeah, it's Deck Mantle. It's it closing set Deck Mantle. So I think Heron Sauna Double XL. If I'm not mistaken, it is the MCM LXXXV guy and the other guy too. I forgot his name. Who's part of it? Uh, maybe SPF DJ also, she might be included, I'm not too sure. Hector Oaks might be included also. Who else is in it? Oh, where is she? Someone else is there. That's part of it. Oh, and Sem. So yeah, so it's probably them going together. So it's probably MCM, L, X, X, V. It's Sem, SPF DJ, and maybe someone else included there. Let me actually play this video courtesy of somebody from Deck Mantle Festival. Let's see what they're saying. It's just the sound playing here. Bear with me a sec while I fast forward a little bit. Yeah, from what I can see here, looking at the picture of the people behind the booth, it does look like there's four of them. So SPF DJ, I'm assuming, Sem, MCM, and um, what's his name? Uh, the guy that fucking taps his feet all the time, looking like a little bit of a cat head. Uh, Hector Oaks. Those guys are playing. So that'd be pretty cool. Carrying on, we've got Hiroko y Yamamura. That'd be awesome too. I think she played a really cool set on Boiler Room recently. Everyone was going crazy for us, so check that out. Interplanetary Criminal, Job Jose was always good at these type of events. Jules, Jotty, who everyone's going, Yotti, sorry, who everyone's going crazy for. Not really for me. Logic 1000, everyone loves. Moxie, everyone loves again. A bit boring for me, a bit too NTSC. Um, Nicola Cruz, Noira, Richie Horton. Yes, the legend that'd be great to see in that kind of environment again just kind of to throw up interesting people right ez heron sauna um double xl dj boring maybe cassis dead will be a good one i said already richie horton i think will be good in that sort of venue um so chitarada was something be good dj sprinkles more so than spf dj or vtss to be honest you see them every single weekend it feels like um at every single venue especially i think vts lives here now isn't it because she's on every single venue lineup man it's a little bit a little bit overkill for me personally don't know how much of that stuff can you listen to on a weekly basis but people like it but if it was me i'd prefer to see sprinkles anyway over those lot but regardless it's great and then the other thing that's awesome they've got these other stage hosts as well that are taking part they've got 999 ginger hall berlin phonox and unfold unfold are going to be curating a stage i guess or a lineup at this day festival which is pretty sick so i don't know how they're going to fit everybody else in for a festival that goes between 12 to 3 sorry um 12 to 10 p.m I'm assuming they're going to have many different stages or sections of the festival. So where's it taking place? 
Lee Valley Showground. I've never been there before in my entire life, but I'm anxious to see how that goes down. But I like the lineup. I like the lineup. I like what they're doing here. I like that it's twenty pound to eighty pounds, so it's very very affordable. I like everything around it. Um, let me see if they've got an after movie here to check out what it looks like because I'm really curious to see what the vibe is like at these sort of festivals. We've got some pictures here that can give us a bit of a vibe. Let's play this. <laughs> I think that video features I Jordan, if I'm not mistaken. Is that I Jordan playing there? I think so. Is it I Jordan? I'm not too sure, but <laughs> looks pretty cool. It looks like a. It kind of reminds me of Awakening. It's got like an. It's an outdoor venue, but there's loads of like roofed, um, you know, enclosed spaces with loads of open um sides and stuff. So the lights pouring through, but it's still kind of hazy and whatnot. So that's quite nice. And if you're a bit of a smoker, you can also enjoy yourself in these kind of venues. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> That was fun. A lot of girls with armpit hair. Nice. Continue there. Nice pictures of people. It kind of reminds me a little bit of AVA in terms of the vibe and the people that are there, in it? It kind of looks a little bit like that. But it looks kind of fun. Nice, fun people there. Loads of cool looking people. Looks like they've got a fun fair also there. And um, loads of nice attract attractions. You've got another video here featuring uh, VTSS and somebody else there in the behind the booth, laughing and joking, smiling, having a good time. Oh, that looks like a vibe. I might have to go, actually. I think I might have to get my ticket arranged. Nice range of people also. I think that's a, one of the killer things about UK festivals that really help or make it or break it when it comes to the range of people. Does it cover a broad range of people? Or is it just the same old regurgitated hipstery faces that go to all the same events? I want it to be a nice variety of ages, a nice variety of backgrounds, of colours and creeds, social standings and education levels and um iqs and whatnot that's what i want i want it to be nice and varied i don't want it to be all the same different the same people wearing the same double soul dr martins please thank you okay that, that looks fun that looks fun another picture here of some people here some nondescript black people hanging out having good times you know reminding people where the music actually came from <laughs> hey we invented this stuff man okay cool Congrats, have a drink on me. <laughs> we continue more pictures of people outside having fun. Yeah, it looks quite fun. It looks quite sick, to be fair. It looks absolutely banging and full. To be fair, off the strength of just the pictures, again, I haven't been. I don't know what the sound is saying. It could be horrible, but this looks like a way better time or way better use of your resources than going to flipping field day. This looks absolutely incredible. <laughs> Man, that Euro Trash hard dance stuff is so hard to get into. The lack of groove, the lack of bounce, the lack of vibes, the lack of quality. And maybe it's because I'm from here and I've listened to that stuff like since I was like, what, 13 or whatnot on random music video channels back in the day when I didn't really know what electronic music or dance music was. You heard that shit playing all the time. And then once you get older and you start getting into the scene and you start to like stuff, it's hard for me to become like retroactively into this stuff when I didn't like it before. Like I remember being into um, the Smiths early on because i was like i love skateboarding i remember being into my buddy valentine and all that sort of stuff because i like that kind of music not because suddenly when i became older it became cool i tried to basically retroactively go back into my archive into my memory back into my history books to try and like these things myself look cool if i didn't like it back then i'm not gonna like it now so this sort of like hard dance hard trance sort of stuff is just not for me in the slightest man it's so i don't know cliche corny yuck um, another cool picture of people again. Who is this DJ with the hands in the air? That's Jada G having a good time to in front of a. <laughs> this looks like they could be good. Yeah, so when I see olive green. And I see kind of those kind of muted colors. I think of geography teachers and I think of Gerd Janssen. I'm pretty sure it isn't him. Uh, but it does look like it could be him. Who is it? If I click that. Okay. Someone called Young Sing. <laughs> Is 
yeah, this stuff in the festival is gonna go off in it, right? This kind of uh, Desi Bollywood inspired flipping garage music and whatnot. People are gonna go absolutely crazy for it, right? Um, this is like um, South Pacific or what? Um, Southeast Asian or it, how do how do you call people that from that region of the earth? I'd say they do you say Indian or South Asian? South Asian tinged um, garage music is gonna go off, especially considering their history with garage music, right? They were right there with us blacks, you know, piss spearhead in this music i remember back in the day actually a very prominent member when i used to listen to flipping pirate radio one of the biggest guys back in the day that used to play garage oh no he used to play like r&b on like deja or was it deja was it deja vu he used to play on there and everyone found out he was asian he sounded black he sounded like some light-skinned guy with green eyes and everyone found out he was some asian dude um which kind of you know was a bit of a anti-climax for some girls but i guess some girls are still turned on by him and he used to absolutely clean up the phone calls you'd get in with flipping women and mums and stuff, you know, throwing their snatch at him was absolutely funny. I forgot the guy's name. It wasn't Entertainment Crew. It was somebody else or some other guy that used to play like R&B and sometimes Garage and that kind of stuff. Like really cool beats. I, f- I wonder if he's still around nowadays. I forgot his name. But anyway, that's just to say the history of Asian people and Garage and grind from back in the day alongside the blacks and the africans and the caribbeans is very strong so i'm very for this type especially if they tinge it and they kind of sprinkle some of their own traditional type music into it it's going to sound nuts bruv Uh, in under the uk sun are you dumb in london somewhere with a bit of kizzy up your nose a little bit of a pinger in your system right come on son Wheel up. See, you're not going to get cancelled wheeling up here. No one's going to cancel you. You're not going to get a flipping op-ed written on flipping RA, Mix Mag or DJ Mag talking about how you are re-establishing gender norms and you are part of the patriarchy and stuff. If you rewind here, people get it. They get it, man. They understand. They know the vibes. So big up Maiden Voyage. I'm going to be there. This looks already fun. You sold it to me. These are why these after movie things, as much as they're a little bit corny and cringy, they're really important to get the vibes so that you can go so if you haven't already seen it definitely go check it out that's the instagram page there it's maiden voyage festival all one word it's going to be happening on bank holiday sunday the 27th of august 2023 and look at the ticket prices brother look at the ticket prices absolutely bargaining in this type of economy that we're in at the moment even if you end up taking the flipping second release the vip entry anytime is beautiful i'm not too sure what a vip entry means at a festival like this a day festival in flipping eden eden en9 i don't know what that actually means whether or not you get like a little golf cart that takes you near to the stage whether you get like a nicer uh, a toilet that has flipping cow shed you know um hand wash or something in it whether it's a bar that has drinks in the fridge instead of out in the open so they're actually chilled i'm not too sure but regardless to pay anywhere between 20 pounds to 80 60 pounds sorry plus booking fee is a bargain the fact that the booking fee goes up in increments is a little bit nasty right it's a little bit scumbaggery that the booking fee goes up like for the first release the booking fee is two pound forty sorry and then when you go to the final release the booking fee is six pounds which is strange it seems like it's like 10 percent of each thing or maybe it's a bit more but anyway who cares regardless i think it's still good value for money maiden voyage festival sunday 27th of august 2023 go there and check it out if you haven't already and i'm i think actually these day festival things might be a new vibe it might actually be a new way to kind of push things forward especially in the uk with all these restrictions that we have going on maybe a good way to kind of get around it is to have these type of things going forward. 